back to the pack here and welcome to a new video and in this video we're going to be doing another Minecraft Let's Play video and in this video we're going to actually be uh, doing a tutorial which I've actually not done in quite a while. I think the uh, last tutorial I did was how to build a water fountain or like a waterfall um, but uh, this one's going to be actually quite a bit different and it's some useful to some people but probably a little bit boring to some other people and in this episode I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make uh, really good circles because I see a lot of YouTubers like completely mess up their circles or have a lot of problems how to like making a circle and this is really handy if you you know want to build circular buildings or if you just have any project that has to do with circles it's really really good and really really easy and basically, I'm going to be giving you guys the main kind of proportions that a circle has in Minecraft. And obviously, Minecraft is a block game. You know, it doesn't really have circles, but you can make circles using blocks. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this episode. I'm um, going to be on my building, kind of like my testing world here. And I'm just going to be kind of right over here. And uh, here's the thing about... Uh, circles. A lot of you guys probably know how to make uh, like these types of circles, kind of small ones. I'm sure a lot of you guys know how to make these ones. These ones are really common, or maybe even you know five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, and then you know kind of like this. You guys probably have built you know water uh, or uh, what are they called? Water waterfalls before. I'm sure you guys have built some of them before. Um, but some people can have some struggles with them and I kind of want to, you know, kind of give them a hand, you know, and, uh, kind of help them out here and, ooh, <laughs> I'm a bit close here, one, two, three, four, five, uh, that's not five, right, uh, one, two, one, one, two, so there you go, there's kind of a bigger version, um, but here's the thing, you have a circle here, right, each even edge, so here, 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 and here has to be an odd number. Now, here's the thing about odd numbers and even numbers in Minecraft. Even numbers are like two, four, you know, six. And in real life, you know, if you have half of four, that's two, half of six, that's three, it even out, you know, it evens out, it works out perfectly. But in Minecraft, that's kind of the complete opposite. Odd numbers are what evens out. Because if you have one, two, three, four, uh, you don't really have a middle because the line that you see is the middle, but you can't place a block there. It goes on either side of it. So you want an odd number in Minecraft. So five would work. You got a middle on the third block. Seven would work. You got a uh, block on the fourth one there. And uh, that's what you want for your circles. Like for instance, here, I got a three. There's a middle there. You got a middle right there. Uh, this one is 5, so I believe it'd be just right there, kind of in the middle. Um, so, I mean, you want to go for the odd numbers. Now, I see this quite a bit on, uh, people building, and they'll, you know, they'll have a pretty good circle, and they'll go like this, and, uh, you know, they'll just kind of be talking and whatever, and not really paying attention on what they're doing. But sometimes these types of circles can look a little bit funky here. So let me kind of build this uh, circle here. And I'll kind of show you what I mean. Um, I don't know if this is going to be a good example or not. But, um, well, kind of, kind of, sort of, you know, it looks like a pretty good circle. This probably isn't the best uh, present uh, presentation here, but... Sometimes people will have like weird corners, like sometimes, oh, you know what, like this. This would probably be better. Get out the way, pig. Um, sometimes people will have some weird corners um, where it kind of just kind of pokes out a little bit and it doesn't really work out. Uh, it's come from a bug. You can see, you know, it's kind of like a square and a circle kind of combined. It doesn't really look that good. Um, as I said, you want, well, I didn't really say this, but, uh, you want to have one block, two block, three block, uh, single block, uh, corners. You do not want to have, uh, like this. This is a no-no. 
This is a no-no. Let's make an X here. This is a no-no. That is a no-no. You do not want to do that because that's not how you want to have a corner of a circle. This is yes, yes. This is a yes, yes. Can we kind of make like a check out of this or something? Like a pating? You know that that that's the that's the correct way you uh, you want to go. You never want to have a gap missing here. You always want to have uh, multiple gaps. And you know, as I it, sometimes um, you might have uh, like really really big circles where you'll have more than one block di uh, diagonally. You know, and that's fine. Kind of just depends on what circle you're building you know sometimes instead of just having one block like this you'll have kind of like more than one block you'll have like three blocks um so i just kind of wanted to clarify that i mean just i see a lot of people having troubles and um you know you don't really have like you know youtube tutorials on how to build like circles and stuff like that so i kind of wanted to go over that um, because I know some people have a lot of trouble with that. So, for instance, let's kind of make a water fountain here. Let's just, uh, let's just kind of, yeah, let's say in this general area here, let's build a little water fountain. So we'll make one out of quartz. Won't be anything, uh, too, too amazing or anything like that. We'll just get some materials out. Uh, maybe some, uh, let's see, let's get some glowstone out maybe, and we'll go from there. So, what you want to do is you want to kind of determine how big your waterfall is going to be. Uh, so we'll go uh, three blocks like that. Uh, or, you know what, let's actually bring it up to five blocks. Why not? Let's have a pretty big uh, waterfall. Now, uh, quartz in the city texture pack is actually a pretty good texture pack to use, or uh, block to use, because you can really kind of see the lines and where, you know, everything is. Besides, you know, this where it's kind of harder to see the lines. This can obviously, you know, you can really easily determine, you know, where where the lines are. And uh, this one kind of looks a little bit weird. I mean, if you want to do a three block one as well, that would work too. Like so. And sometimes you have to add extra, um, you know, extra or less um, amounts of extra blocks kind of on the corners going to the middle. Um, but let's actually use this one as an example because it's a little bit smaller. So we'll just kind of make a small little water fountain here. Uh, let's, uh, or waterfall. I keep on calling it a fountain. It's not a fountain. You can't drink out of it. Um, yeah, I mean, that's fine, really. Uh, let's just kind of get rid of some of this. Like so. And it don't have to be pretty. You know, just, just a temporary water fountain is all you need. Um, like so. But... So there you go. All right, there's your. Huh. I just now realized something. <laughs> I did this completely wrong. I don't know what I did. <laughs> I guess I just kind of got uh, off track a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. My bad. Um, what the heck? Hello? Ah, there we go. That should look a little bit better. Yes, there we go. So, um, basically, you know, you'll just have a little water fountain here, like so. Just nothing, nothing too insane. And I'll just go ahead and fill this in here really quickly. This isn't going to be a long video. I just kind of wanted to kind of give you guys a little tutorial on if you're struggling with, uh, you know, circles circles and you know that kind of stuff um i kind of wanted to kind of help out so you know here's just a small little fountain here but um as i said remember before how i said sometimes you're gonna have to add a few blocks on the sides to get kind of more of a round shape you know you don't want to do this you don't want to have five and then we'll uh you know go a few blocks diagonally and then we'll go to here and uh, that's not going to work out evenly, isn't it? Um, da, 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 da. You know what? I'm actually going to come over here. <laughs> uh, don't worry about that. Uh, let's go five blocks. And then we'll kind of go uh, diagonal five blocks will work. And then one, two, three, four, five. 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 And one, two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five. There you go. See this? This is also uh, this is also kind of a big no-no. Uh, and this is kind of where I come to the point of um, you know adding extra blocks and stuff like that because I mean, sure, in some people's minds this can be a circle, and I mean it kind of is, but it's a really kind of lopsided circle. Like it's like. As I said, it's kind of like uh, this, where it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a square and a circle kind of mixed together. Um, but you know, this is this is not good. So if you have a product like this, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to add a few more blocks on each side, like so. All right, let's do that on all four sides, and we'll kind of kind of come up with a hopefully better looking product and maybe uh you know kind of just a little better see there you go and there you go that's how you get a better looking circle so before we had that going on all on all four sides but basically you want to just get rid of those and kind of add a more like gentle curve um and yeah you know i'm doing this on the ground i mean this all of these rules kind of correspond to like if you're building like in the air so one two three four five six seven and then we'll go one two three four five and then we'll go one two three and we'll go uh maybe another three one two three and then we'll go two one two one one two one two three and then one two three four five and then this is gonna oops this is gonna come down if I can ever place the block. And then this is gonna be one, two, three. And uh, let's see, let's see what I did. Uh, three, two, one. Okay. Ooh, lost myself there. Three, two, one, two. Oops. And then we did a three. One, two, three. And then we did another three. One, two, one, two, three. And then it should be seven blocks just coming straight down. Uh, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, I obviously missed something. Oh, five. Yeah, that's what I missed. Sorry. Uh, five, and then it should be seven coming down, right? One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. There you go. So, I mean, if you're building like this, and this is actually. Did I do something wrong there? Well, yeah. But, I mean, this kind of looks weird because what I did is I added seven down here, and I added four five up here and I don't want that so if you want to have a pretty good like circle like if you're building like an arch or something uh sure you can use that method because the the arch isn't like a perfect circle but uh we'll go we'll do the correct way here and we'll do seven blocks and then uh, three blocks and then two blocks and then one and then two and then three we had two threes like so. So the one before was a little bit, you know, kind of lopsided because I had seven going up, but then five going across. But then hopefully this should look a little bit better. Oof. Well, yeah, also I had a five and a three and a three and a two, and I didn't do that up here. But uh, let's kind of make a smaller version. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll go up three and then two and then one and then we'll do the same thing that we did here to get a better circle so we'll do a two and then we did a three and then we did a five one two three four five and then we'll come down we'll do a three we'll do a two and then we'll do a one and then we'll come down two and then we'll come down three one, two, three, and then, uh, oops, one, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Now, this should be a better circle. Yes, see that? So, that is kind of a better circle compared to this because what I did here, hold on a second, sorry. Here, what I did is I basically took this side from to the one block and then did that all the way across to there and I basically just kept on doing it around. So you've got five here, you got three here, you got two here, one here, 
Alright, and then you got two here, three here, five here, which is just the same thing. But over here, I did seven, and then five, and then three, and then three, and then two, and then I stopped at the one, and then I did something different at the top to kind of give it a little bit of an off sided curve, if that makes sense. Um, but after a lot of uh, circle building here, I kind of just, I, I didn't really expect anything much for this episode. I just kind of wanted this to be just kind of a helpful little video for some of you guys out there who are having troubles kind of building circles because, I mean, it's hard, it is hard, and myself, it took a while to build all of this. Um, but do I have any uh, circle examples out here? By the way, this is actually my uh, neighbor's house. He actually came and uh, built this little house here. It's still here. Um, but it's just kind of out of the way, so it's not a big deal. And, I mean, you can have a bunch of different sizes of circles. I mean, for heavens, you can have, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, I think I might have gone off track there. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, you can have humongous circles going all the way around. And this one actually kind of looks a little bit lopsided as well. But, I mean, you can have a bunch of different sizes of circles. And, uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to kind of tell the difference. What yes you can do and what no you can't do. Um, but, I mean, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, oops, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, you know, that, this is a pretty good circle, so I will give it a, I'll give it a big green check mark, that's good, and then this is a bad example, but then, on the other hand, this right here is actually a pretty, uh, bad example of what you want to do, let's see, oops, three boom this is a no-no uh oops. especially uh when you have like three and five and three and five you always i mean sure you have a middle but i mean it's like a it's like a you know it's like a, it's like an emerald i built an emerald for instance oh well of course in this texture pack the emeralds are circular but um in the default it's kind of like a diamond shape kind of like that that's also kind of a no-no. Um, let's put a big X over it. There you go. So that's kind of also a pretty bad example. <laughs> but, wow, look at the catastrophe we did in this episode. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I know this was probably kind of a shorter episode than uh, normal. But I didn't really want to do any big building or anything like that in this episode. I kind of wanted to do a tutorial. It kind of came to me, actually, when I was in the middle of the night. Uh, I was, like, dead asleep. And, 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 you know, I was just thinking, hmm, you know, it's been a while since I've done a video, which I apologize about. And I was thinking, hmm, what video should I make next? You know, I've been doing a lot of building in my uh, most recent videos and uh, what building sh or what what should I do next and I decided hmm, let's do a tutorial and it's been a while since I've done a tutorial but what should I make a tutorial on so uh, basically I just kind of thought on what people you know struggled on and it was circles that came to my mind first so I decided to kind of uh, do some circles so hopefully you guys can kind of tell um, you know, hopefully this may have improved you a little bit. And, um, I actually have an app on my Kindle. Um, I haven't used it in a while. But it's kind of like a circle generator. So basically you can add, um, the number of blocks on these, uh, even size right here. So you can have, you can add 5, you can add 10, you can add 30, you can add 100 if you want. And it'll basically, it basically give you like a block for block kind of circular uh you know dimension and graph basically so you can copy uh what's on there so i mean i'm i'm sure there's probably more than just the one that i downloaded but 
uh, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much it. It's, uh, you know, it can be hard for some people, it can be easy for some people. For me, it's fairly easy, and, um, you know, you just gotta get good at it, you know, it's not something that you can just be good at instantly, you know, you gotta, you gotta kinda practice, and, you know, you gotta get your dimensions right, and you gotta make, you know, everything even, and you gotta make sure that there's no mistakes or anything like that, um, you know, it can be hard, it really can, so, um, I hope this video kind of just helped you out a little bit, uh, if you guys are really, really good at this, and if you have somebody who's struggling that you know, maybe help them out a little bit, share this video if you have people who struggle with building circles, I mean, it's kind of a common thing in Minecraft, and especially to the noobs out there who are, uh, you know, still kind of bad at Minecraft, you know, they can use some getting, uh, help and that kind of stuff, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, this is probably the best I could do, so, um, oh, getting off topic, I don't know why, but some of my friends, uh, wanted me to give them a shout out in, uh, in video, this is actually some of my friends from school, I hope they watch this, but, um, Basically, I have some friends in a class, and they were like, Hey, Conductor Pack, what about you give us a shout out on your video? I'm like, eh, no thanks. But they're like, please do it. So, um, let's see if I can remember the names. We got Gavin Johnson. We got Gabe Brower. We got Chance Delaney. We got, uh, Tyler. I don't know his last name. Crap. Tyler something. And then Stephen Motley, I think. And uh, I don't know Tyler's last name. Wow, I'm sorry, Tyler. I'm sorry. I'm, I apologize. It's, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not knowing your name. Uh, yeah, I don't know his last name. Crap, what is it? Mm. Tyler. Hmm. Yeah, I can't think of it off the top of my head. But sorry, Tyler, you know. You're the one that probably doesn't like me the most anyway, so deal with it. But anyway, <laughs> they wanted me to give them a shout out for some reason. And shout out to Conduct It Back because he's the best out of all of them. So, thank you guys so much for watching. It has been Conduct It Back. If you did enjoy the episode, be sure to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And uh, shout out to all my friends. And um, uh, yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye!